all right thanks for patiently waiting so we will be starting a webinar now so before we start uh, i'll just to give a quick introduction about myself so uh, my name is philip i am the uh, customer success lead for uh, enterprise service desk accounts in australia and india so i deal with uh, customers and how to improve the uh, technical usage of the product interaction with third party applications and so on so that's it about me so today's topic uh, will be the master class on building a self service portal for your enterprise service desk plus so the session will be a 25 to 30 minute session followed by a 5 to 10 minutes question and answer session so if you have any questions note them down we'll have it sorted out at the end all right so we will start without any further delay so today's topic as i mentioned again to build an elite service portal that is capable of uh, dealing with more than one end that is a self-service portal is pretty much the most effective way for businesses to enhance its user experience because the conventional ways of marketing are gone so people are now more focused on digital marketing online marketing so uh, the idea is to convert your self-service portal as one of these places so organizations and vendors all over the world have been competing in upgrading this self-service portal and making them as useful and as productive as possible so the main objective of this webinar is to improve the value of uh, the self-service portal provided in service test plus so the following will be the agenda uh, the benefits of custom customizing the enterprise service management portal so we'll be talking about three topics today uh, customizing the self-service portal for your esm that is enterprise service management customizing your home page for your end users requesters and then customizing your home page for your technicians so the next point is exploring the home page customization options for your end users and technicians setting up the required configuration files and images which is nothing but how to set these customizations up how to add a new widget the type of customizations available in the self-service portal the last is uh, the build driven portals for hr and facilities which is to show you uh, the different types of customizations or the different types of ideas you can implement in these different instances with the same customization options all right so what do we expect to achieve with this webinar uh, our aim is to increase uh, the number of engagement uh, the engagement that you have with your end users by customizing the esm portal reducing the time and effort spent by uh, your hr people or the technicians in the back end communicating updates increasing the productivity of your help desk teams creating tickets and making web calls with technicians directly from the home page i'll go in detail uh, on all the points that i've mentioned so my main agenda on today's topic is uh, what is the use of customizing a self-service portal for customers my first point would be contactless solutions because it is pretty important for uh, most of these self-service portals or support teams to be contactless at the moment because of the ongoing pandemic so the idea is to have one portal that serves not just as a ticket racing platform but also as a knowledge base a place where people can come in for announcements what uh, what's going on in your organization and a lot more and also to have 24 bar 7 support or round the clock support because it's not possible to have people manning the phones or, or always answering tickets so it's a good suggestion or a good uh, idea to have a portal that not just provides kb but also directs people in the right queue my next point would be reduced call queues uh, let's say there is an announcement that is put up on an existing outage or uh, scheduled maintenance that is pretty assured to reduce some number of incoming requests that are going to be raised definitely reducing the load on our support queue 
the next point is brand advocacy because i know the digital marketing folks are pretty crazy on marketing the brand the brand logo and the new plans the organization is working on so the self service portal is a very good place to emboss and re advocate your logo because we do provide options to uh, totally customize the background of the self service portal with any banner of your choosing uh, my last point is data gathering opportunities at portals so the main idea or the main scope of these new age self service portals are to collect information from users proactively because we all know that uh, the end user or a customer will raise an incident at one point or the other but what gives you the edge over matters like this is uh, who gets the information first so the idea of building an elite self service portal is to proactively collect information rather than wait for the user to raise a ticket so we'll start with the first topic esm portal customization before we dive in i'll just give you a short description of what esm is enterprise service management it is the idea of having more than one portal or more than one instance for different departments or for different divisions within the same portal or the same installation so what we'll be dealing is we'll be having a look at how to customize the uh, ESM self service portal which is the page that you land on when you click on um, the ESM portal so i'll be showing you on where to customize this option and the different types of customization available so i'll quickly jump to my application here so this is the admin view so in order to customize the esm portal you'll have to be logged into service desk as an admin so once you log into service desk click on the option here at the left hand top that says esm directory all right so you should get a couple of options on the left hand bottom so the option that we will be using is esm portal customization all right so we have two options here I'd like to start with the second one, the default landing page. So what it lets you do is it gives you two options. The first is ESM portal and the second is to choose an instance. So the idea behind this option is you can choose if uh, a technician or a user when clicking on the ESM portal button, should it directly land the user to the portal or should, should the user be redirected to a certain portal of your choosing? this option is especially handy when you're working on a new instance that is half baked or is under construction and you don't want your users to have a peek into it until it's completely uh, fine uh, until it's completely constructed so this option is definitely helpful in scenarios such as those all right so now that's done the first option is customizing your esm portal so all you have to do is click on customize and this option comes with three views the first option is a code view it's just an editor where you can modify your code it's basic html and the second is a preview whatever change is being done on the code is reflected over here i'd recommend the third one because it has both the code view and on the right you can see a preview of what's happening we provide a couple of variables within the editor such as company name portals footers search box uh, so if you could see here the uh, variable company name is being used here followed by service desk so you can customize this uh, if you look at it the portal is pretty blank now and all we have is one box you can add uh, your company's logo a background picture a banner add more boxes add more panels on the right uh, since this HTML it gives you a ton of opportunities if you have any scripting needs uh, you can always feel free to write to me or to the support team and we are more than happy to help you out so this is the place where the configuration happens in the back end I have a sample ESM portal that I can show to you guys so this is a portal that I worked on uh, if you look at the portal on the left hand top it has my uh, company's logo and beneath that it has the uh, it has a nice big banner that says welcome to zilka's enterprise portal so this banner here can be replaced with uh, an ongoing uh, outreach some scheme uh, process a deadline 
something that your organization is working on it could be anything for that matter and it serves as a good marketing platform there and beneath that you have your standard uh, instances for ESM IT help desk HR desk travel desk and so on what I would like to highlight is the two panels at the right side bottom so we have the first panel asking you a question if you're doing okay today and another question asking if you are if you are okay with access or if, are you missing your id card so this is what i mentioned about proactively collecting information from your users so if one of your employees is feeling down if he's if he feels that he's down with fever all you can do is he just clicks on not well and the system would just mark his response with an acknowledgement so i'll show you what happens in the back end as soon as the acknowledgement comes the acknowledgement is being tracked in the system so if we jump to hr desk and move on to requests i'm logged in as a user called santa so when the user santa responded with a negative remark for the health question it raises a request saying that the user is unwell so hr personnel can proactively reach out to this employee especially during a time of the pandemic if he is in need of medical assistance or if they can help him with some nearby medical contacts or help him with medical insurance and all that uh, or they could also share this request with um, the employee's team members or team leader inform that this employee might be on leave for a while and uh, the team leader can make arrangements uh, for a resource in his absence uh, or for load sharing while the employee is not there opens up a ton of possibilities and another example is uh, id card being lost so an employee stating that his id card is lost is a serious issue provided he has access to some uh, areas or places of high clearance you can immediately tag off or negate that id card in your security system so that in case the id card falls into the wrong members is not misused it also pretty much falls in for other security access so there are a ton of ways in which these panels can be used and proactively uh, collected information all right so that's all about uh, customizing the self service portal for enterprise service management we'll jump on to our next topic request a home page customization or the end user home page customization in my perspective i believe this is the most important out of the uh, three topics we'll be covering today because in some organizations requesters are your customers not your employees so it is vital that you paint a good picture in front of them uh, the first impression is your make sure the first impression is the best impression so you'll have to focus more on what the, what the end user sees and make sure that you get uh, the required information from the end user using the minimalistic of clicks possible so as usual we'll be having a look at how to set up this uh, customization what are the different options in customizing the uh, self-service portal for end users and a quick demo of what I have all right so jumping back you'll have to be an admin you'll have to be logged in as a admin in service test plus to customize the home page for your requesters you can so as soon as you come to home page uh, click on the cog wheel icon that says customize at the right hand top clicking on it gives you two options technician home page and request a home page click on request a home page so this is the default landing page for your end users uh, you would notice the uh, conventional big panel on the top with incidents raising a service or looking at solutions this comes with a couple of themes not just themes uh, the whole uh, block the rectangular block is a css file if you feel this has to be further customized you need an additional box or you want the background picture to be modified a different text in place you you can write to us and we can rewrite the css file as per your need 
and not just that you will find uh, a couple of other widgets beneath that uh, if you feel that a widget is unwanted you can just click on the remove widget or the X button here and that just kicks that off and you can pretty much reallocate it however you want it's all uh, plug and play or drag and drop over here you can choose the number of columns that you need uh, it can be a four column view a two column view whatever that works for you you can choose the background color you can add a new widget so this can be an external link or an html file it can be used as a banner as a notification or anything or a file uh, the file is pretty much used to load dynamic content from third party website to your home page it can be uh, a live dashboard coming in from a third party reporting software or analytics plus or you can um, import your google or outlook calendar using your icac file over here and have a small widget of your calendar here uh, the possibilities go on but uh, be careful while you set it up and it's always safe to have the script cross checked with our development team before you put it in unless you're pretty sure about it so these are the options available i'll just click on cancel and show you a quick brief of what i've set up so this is the home page I've set up for my end users. I'll start with ESM portal. So when the user clicks on ESM portal, he gets the same two panels on the right with the questions. And apart from that, he can see that uh, he's viewing all the instances he has access to. Let's click on IT instance. You see a huge, beautiful uh, panel at the top that advises us to lock our screen before we get up from our desk so i have visited a, a ton of clients in different countries and uh, when i visit it particularly they have a lot of posters plastered in the wall in desks in workspaces uh, mentioning security updates not to uh, leave your screen uh, unlocked have a, a strong password do not piggy tail uh, use your access card when you uh, come in and a ton of things like that. So this space can be used to put out a lot of useful information at the top and If you go below that I'll come to these panels at the end if you go below that you have your conventional panel For raising an incident or a service request or a solution You have uh, your most commonly requested solutions uh, your request summary and uh, another important thing is announcements since uh, this would be the starting point uh, an end user or a technician starts his work from i believe it's pretty important that we put out the announcements so that the user has an idea of all outages that's going on outages or planned maintenance that's going on uh, in the current day or in the current period of time period of time so that we can avoid unwanted incidents or request creations and about these panels this is again about proactively uh, collecting information from your end users and also shows the stress that we put upon these type of incidents so we have data loss data breach and data compliance which are pretty much major incidents or pretty huge incidents uh, in IT's perspective so they're pretty keen if an if an instance of data loss a breach has happened they want to immediately uh, hear about it so that they can have some repercussions or uh, remedies ready for the scenario so the idea is to push one or two particularly important templates apart from the others so if i click on data loss here it takes me to this template the template has pre-populated values all i have to do is fill in the values and click on add request thereby proactively collecting some information from the end user because uh, end users or employees mostly have the tendency of uh, you know 
they think this uh, scenario might not be a pretty big scenario but according to it there is no such thing as a small scenario and they would like to hear what happened in every instance so that helps in scenarios like that moving on to hr desk again you notice that we've uh, made uh, different use of the panel here at the top apart from locking your screen we've advised people to go get some themselves vaccinated for covid um, and you have your conventional panel at the bottom uh, to raise an incident or a service request and you have your solutions requests assets and again this is an interesting use of announcement for your hr portal so we intimate our users about a vaccination drive that's happening in my campus and uh, with the time period it's happening and so that people volunteers if they need uh, if they want to make use of the uh, drive they can participate and make use of it jumping to the next one facilities the template at the top the panel we've customized it a bit different um, so the facilities the department is more concerned about uh, infrastructure damage that is in case of fire you stash ensure the door is secured before you leave um, again a drive to have ourselves vaccinated so we can pop up or push information that is relevant to each department here again we have a conventional uh, raising an incident uh, raising a service but what we've done differently is uh we've taken out the uh, third box which usually implies to check or uh, directly access kb here we've replaced it with a button that lets you directly call the facilities desk manager in case of an emergency so if you have uh, a telephony tool in your computer that lets you make calls from your computer you can just click on choose application and make a call directly from service desk itself so that's it about the end user homepage customization. So we'll move on to the next topic. All right, the next topic is technician homepage customization, which again is a very important page because these people are the uh, worker ants in the organization. Because uh, let's say this team slots up, this the quality of this team falls down. That's going to be a pretty huge problem for the whole organization. So. Um, the main theme behind customizing the home page for our technicians will be providing the technician with a lot of statistics, a lot of data, and uh, to give him an idea of where he stands with his colleagues and where the standard of his team stands uh, in providing services to his organization or to his customer base uh, as an opportunity to improve themselves. So we'll quickly jump on the steps to configure this. So if you go back to the home tab again and we click on the cogwheel icon at the right hand top click on technician home page it brings you a pretty similar page but you notice uh, the widgets offered are a bit different you would notice a huge widget that says my tasks which gives you a list of all your pending or open tasks and we have our uh, request summary at the left hand top stating all the different requests in different statuses we have my approvals and announcements beneath that my reminders you can plug and plug and play uh, drag and drop arrange them in any order you want you have the same option of having uh, the number of columns uh, you can add new widgets these widgets can be uh, existing reports that you've run in the system with charts on them or it can be an external widget uh, meaning you can refer to an external link or an html file to put out an announcement or some content on uh, the third one uh, you pull in or import a file from a third party website which lets you import dashboards or live windows from third party windows or applications so that's it about it so i'll give you a quick glimpse of what i've customized jump back to the ESM portal first right so we have our panels on the right about health and ID card over here as well so I've deployed this since this is the ESM portal 
it affect, uh, it helps me catch both technicians and my end users and uh, i click on it help desk and the interesting option uh, um, option here is you get to have a separate home page for your technicians and end users and this home page is separate for every instance all right so this is my home page for any technician working on the it instance of service desk you have a wide panel on the top indicating technicians to strictly lock their workstations before they leave their place and beneath that we have a beautiful dashboard that gives me uh, a statistical chart comparing me with my colleagues on different metrics of requests being raised we scroll down a bit and we find another report a strategic report that gives us uh um, metrics on user satisfaction rates csat dsat positive and negative reviews by our technicians and you can see that all these reports are brought in from analytics plus a reporting tool from manage engine you can use the same from analytics plus or if you use a third party application like power bi the same is doable and you have your request summary on the left uh my pending approvals in the middle uh, i can click on any of these and action on the approval if needed and after that we have our reminders here i can add new ones or those of my existing ones over here and my tasks at the left hand bottom and again uh, as this is the first place a technician would start his daily work we have a crisp list of announcements on outages uh, any important changes scheduled maintenance going on so that would put me in a better place while handling incidents major incidents problems and changes you name it all right so i want to now skip to uh, the home page for our different instances just to show how differently you can customize this uh, going back to the esm portal i'm now jumping to hr desk all right the panel on the left, uh, the top left, you see apart from locking your screen, we have another push to have our employees vaccinated. Beneath that, we have a pie chart that shows employee happiness with uh, several factors. And on the right, we have a beautiful line chart uh, with attrition versus hiring. Uh, the employees leaving versus the employee joining per month again this is run from analytics plus and beneath that we have a announcement of our vaccination drive going on and our pending approvals at the left hand bottom last facilities there is a push on how to react if there is a fire and again we have uh, another push to have our employees vaccinated beneath that we have a huge panel that just displays templates that are in relation to this department our uh, facilities building services move, movement of furniture uh, issues with ventilation or air conditioning ordering food and things such as that and beneath that uh, you have your request summary your approvals and reminders this is just a, a glimpse or an idea on how you can customize uh, your different instances with the same options available so that is it about customizing your technician home page so just to rephrase it before we uh, end the session uh, we saw about customizing the uh, self-service portal for your esm uh, the landing page when a, whenever a technician or a requester logs in to choose an instance it's totally html and you can totally customize the back end uh, add stuff remove stuff as needed the next is the requester home page giving you an option to have a home page for every instance available in the product you get option to add widgets dashboards and so on the same options for technicians and it's available for every portal you can add in reports dashboard from third party applications put in html templates and so on all right so i guess we are done
um so before we end this is my address if you need help in customizing your home page or your self service portal if you have an idea or if you want a discussion please feel free to write to me or to support at servicedesplus.com we'll uh, either me or one of my colleagues will join on a call with you have a quick discussion and uh, check if the requirement or the customization that you require is feasible thank you for joining uh, i hope it was helpful have a great week cheers